Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. I am in great spirits today. I did wake up with a little bit of a sore throat, so that's kind of a bummer, but we celebrated baby Shay's second birthday. She's not a baby anymore, but we celebrated her second birthday this weekend, and it was so fun. I tried to keep it somewhat low key. I know like I can't really keep it like that low key because you guys know me. I like to kind of make things look pretty. So I did a little table set up, but we really just used what we had around the house for the party. The one thing that I did do is I um, hired this, how do I explain them? It's like a little music class that will come to you. They're here out of Atlanta. They're called Here We Grow. And they essentially do like these little music classes for it's like kind of like a mommy and me type thing where you can bring your kids and do music classes at people's houses, but you can hire them for birthday parties. They do a lot of different like events as well. So I'll, I'll link their page down below. This is not sponsored by them. I just randomly found them through some of my friends who'd used them before. And it's very similar to like a mommy and me class that I used to go to called the bunny hive, except for these ladies come to your house, which was really nice. So I did hire them for to do like a little music class, which I actually thought I'm going to sit down because my arms I had never hired them or had never been to one of their classes before I'd hired them. And so I wasn't sure what to expect if it was going to be like fun or just kind of like weird because you know sometimes those classes can get a little weird. Um, but it was so fun and I felt like it was a really good like way to get all of the kids that were at the party kind of like together if that makes sense. Like do you know what I mean? It's kind of like an icebreaker. It just like gets all the kids like moving and doing stuff together so that then they like break the ice with each other I guess but it turned out to be really really fun I'm gonna insert a video of her party here A lot of this tablescape that I had, I just literally was like, I want to bring in color. Her theme was kind of rainbow, but it's more so just like colors. There wasn't like actual rainbows around. It was just more like a color theme. Um, everything else was neutral because you guys know me. I'm like a very neutral person, but I wanted to bring some color in for my baby girl. So anything for her, but it turned out to be really fun. We of course used the bounce house from Play Small. We just received, I think I unboxed this in my last vlog, but the, the Gather Arc climbing set is really fun. So we just had received that. Um, yeah, so pretty low key other than the fact that we did hire a music class and I just used what I had around the house and a little bit of table setup. So it was a good time. I'm like so happy because she was so happy. I feel like that when you move into like the stage of motherhood, your happiness is like to provide moments and experiences for your kids. Of course, I like to have my own experiences and fun as well, but it's just like, it's just so rewarding to see the smile on their face. Like, ugh, it's literally one of the best parts of motherhood. <laughs> so anyway, I'm jumping on here because I have some exciting news. The guys are starting on our backyard today. I'm like so excited. They're gonna get here after lunch, so I was gonna show you guys kind of like a before look of the backyard um it's very overgrown i'm a little embarrassed to show it to you guys but i'm going to show it to you because i show you everything um and then after i show you that i think i'm going to start i have to do work of course but this is all like the stuff from shay's party just from the weekend we had moved literally everything into the dining room so i need to move all of that stuff to the backyard
cannot even tell you the excitement that I'm feeling right now, just like knowing that this backyard space is gonna be put back together sometime very, very soon. We've officially broken ground. They have started the work. I know it's funny, we were talking to a lot of people this weekend and they, we had mentioned we were starting the backyard project today. And the common, I think, consensus that we can all agree on is that construction, whenever they give you a time frame, it's usually like double that or just, you know, it's never usually like really right on time. But I literally don't care. As long as they've started, we have a plan to get it done. I'm like so excited. So I'm, <laughs> I've literally been ignoring some of my responsibilities today so I can like watch them work. But I really need to go get my laptop so maybe I'll just bring it down here and work from the couch. I'm so excited. is Cheetah. Cheetah is a home decor brand that offers stylish and comfortable modern furniture. This swivel chair that I just added to my master bedroom is called the Ombre Swivel Accent Chair. It's a designer model that fits pretty seamlessly into any modern home decor. I really like the 360 swivel of it. It can sit in pretty much any angle that I want to view, like if I wanted to view outside into our backyard, which is full construction right now, which is why I have these right here. Um, I cut so I can kind of like swivel back and forth kind of like how I want to be the TV is right here I could swivel this way or if I don't care if I'm reading a book I can just sit and relax like normal my daughter Shay absolutely loves to swivel in this chair It's so funny because she always asks she goes more and she'll always ask for more swivel and we'll have to swivel her around But it's really fun for her But I also just personally love it for the functionality of being able to kind of position it however I want it, whenever I want it. A few features about this chair, which I think are kind of important factors in it, is that the first one is it is a medium firmness, which essentially means, well, let me explain it this way. If you, my mind always goes to like the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, and it's definitely the opposite of firm, where you sit in it and it completely makes like a hole where you're sitting, and then when you get up, you have to fluff the couch or it just looks kind of sunken in, do you know what I mean? This one is medium firm, so it does hold its shape really well, but it is also soft. So it's like a comfortable chair that when you stand up, you don't have to fluff it. It doesn't have like an indention where you're sitting, but it is still really comfortable. It's also environmentally friendly and easy to clean, which is so important for me because you guys know that I love my light colored furniture and having a light colored piece of furniture that's easy to clean is just like the icing on the cake, honestly, because my dog will try and jump up on it. My toddler tries to get on it. And I, I tell you, she does like it because she likes to swivel around on it. And I don't have to really worry about like her hands or my dog getting like dirt or whatever on the chair because it's one of those chairs that it's really easy to clean and you pretty much just can wipe clean. So it does come in this beautiful creamy gray color. But honestly, if you look up close, it kind of looks like a gray like a mix between gray and beige which for me you guys know fits so perfectly into just like my aesthetic and what I'm trying to do in my home it just is a very like comforting color for me and it does mix really well with like a warm tone and a cool tone so if you had more cool tones in your house I know I mostly have like warm tones but if you did have a cool tone gray is really good with cool tones because it is a cool tone um, so it would fit perfectly in there as well but if you are somebody who likes color it does come in a bunch of different colorways and then a few different fabrics as well this is the velvet fabric and I just really liked how minimal it looks it looks very like clean very very elegant I guess is what I'm trying to look for but it does have other colorways and different um, fabrics as well so if velvet's not your thing there's different fabrics out there so you can take a look on their site and see and pick and choose kind of like what makes sense for you and your style. Cheetah is having a Mother's Day sale where you can save up to $500 off on their website. I will leave that link down below, so if you're interested in checking out Cheetah, I definitely would recommend it, especially if you're somebody who likes clean lines and 
more like modern timeless furniture so like i said i'll leave all the information down below and don't miss out on their mother's day sale because up to 500 dollars off that sounds amazing i might be shopping some more as well so if you have any questions let me know and let's get back to the vlog it's officially baby shay's second birthday or she's not a baby anymore i guess she's two but it is just such a weird feeling. We're about to go get her up, so I wanted to share with you guys our little setup. Nothing crazy, but I couldn't help myself. I got her a few little things. We wanted to get her this car anyway, because we're going to the beach, so that's why we, pretty much why we got that, but she loves this. She has one at the lake, um, so now we have one here. And then this little soccer set. It was just from Amazon. It was super inexpensive, but like, she likes kicking the ball lately, so we figured maybe we'll try soccer. And now that we have a new backyard coming, this will be perfect for the outdoor space. And then of course, this cute little baby doll. She's been really into babies lately, so I got her this stroller from, Con I'm gonna say it wrong, Conga Solge or whatever. I'm gonna say that wrong. I will link it below, but it's super cute. I think they do sell these at Born Baby if you're in Atlanta. I saw them recently post that, but I had ordered this one before that, but now they have them there, so cute. And then just some other little small things like books and stuff like that. So let's go get her. Whoa. <laughs> How fun is that? You want to see your other toys? A ball. Oh. Let me show you. Watch it. This is a ball. Here, put it on the ground. Let me show you. Oh, Hobbs, that's not for you. Watch. Look. Look. Look at that. Hey, watch. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. Hops. Okay, can you kick it in the goal? Good job. Goal. Okay. We'll learn that later. You see the baby? Do you want her out? Here, let me help you. Some progress being made. I don't know if you guys remember, there used to be a massive tree, like massive, right here. And, oh wow. And essentially, we need to get that tree grinded down, but they have to dig out around it a little bit first. So they're trying to dig out around it. And then we're gonna have a different guy who came in who grinded it when it initially got removed to come in and grind all the stuff. So we just have that one massive one. I'll see if I can find a video of what it looked like before. And then we have another one kind of over that way which isn't as big, but it's still something that needs to be grinded down, so. Lots of steps. They're digging out the playset area. And it's so exciting to see. It's Friday. We have Shay at home with us on Fridays. <laughs> you painting? And so I've set her up to paint a little bit so that I can get some work done. And I actually did want to show you guys this. I weirdly enough get a lot of questions on what we do like setup wise to get when she starts painting. It's not rocket science, so I kind of feel like you know, whatever, explaining this to you guys because it's so simple, but I literally just have these. I used to have like a sketch pad that I found recently that have a bunch of paper. So these are from the sketch pad that I had. So it's just extra big, kind of thicker, like cardstock almost paper. And then I just use like painter's tape to paint it, to tape it down so that they don't move around because if I didn't, they would literally be on the floor in two seconds. And then um, I do tape this down as well. So this kind of stays put. Right now we're using this finger paint, and it is finger paint so she can use her hands with it also. But it is also washable, which is great. So, But I've used all different types of, of, all different types of non-toxic, like children's washable paint. 
This, I do like the colors of this though, so if you're looking for something specific. You need help? Let me get that off your hand. Yeah, I like these. And then we use the Honey Sticks, the Jumbo paintbrush set, so. All right, let me help you with your hands. It's actually gonna be kind of a fun weekend. It was just a last minute thing that Taylor decided to do, but we're inviting two of our friends who also have kids so all the kids can play. The pools are not open here at the lake yet. I think they wait until like Memorial Day to open, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. We can drive the golf carts around. We brought the water table and it is supposed to be pretty nice this weekend. So we are very excited. I think the boys are gonna go play golf on Sunday too, but. I am making breakfast. We got here yesterday and went to dinner and let Shay run around with some of the kids. There's like this huge like green space in the back of the restaurant that they have here that all the kids were just running around and playing. We have not gone to the store yet, but there's always oatmeal here. So I'm making some oatmeal. I did bring some fruit. I'm about to have my coffee on the porch. You can help me blow my coffee. Hold on. It's outside. Oh my gosh, how fun! My friends brought this to the lake. I'm like, how nice is this? That is so fun! Come down, show me how you slide down. Is that so fun? Wow!
how it's done.